नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट यार डी क्यू इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ क्यू इंटरफेस इन जावा वी नो दच क्यू इंटरफेस क्यू इज इंप्लीमेंटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ थ्री क्लासेस द फर्स्ट वन इज लिंक लिस्ट सेकेंड वन इज प्रियरिटी क्यू थर्ड वन इज यर ए डी क्यू सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन यर ए डी क्यू क्लास ऑफ क्यू इंटरफेस सो इन आर्डर टू यूज द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ द क्यू वी यूज यर ए डी क्यू क्लास सो यर ए डी क्यू क्लास इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द क्यू इंटरफेस हियर लेट्स सी वॉट इज यर ए डी क्यू डी क्यू हियर द स्पेलिंग इज डी क्यू ई सो देर इज नो नीड टू राइट वन मोर यू ई here dq stands for double ended q double ended q generally in q we have two ends so this is front of the q beginning of the q this is end of the q beginning of the q end of the q we can perform insertion operation in normal q we can perform insertion operation from end of the queue that is we can perform insertion operation from rear end whereas we can perform deletion operation from front of the queue from beginning of the queue with the help of the front end whereas in double ended queue we can perform insertion and deletion operations from both the ends so insertion will be, will be done from front end as well as rear end deletion will be performed from front end as well as rear end so that's why it is named as double ended so double so we can perform insertion and deletion from both the ends okay and array array means this double ended queue is implemented based upon the array data structure so that's why here this class is named as array dq so let's see what is array dq array dq is a class which implements dq interface array dq is a class which implements dq interface dq interface extends q interface so here class to interface we have to use implements keyword interface to interface we have to use extends keyword here dq is interface as well as q is interface so here dq extends q okay so here what is the point a ray dq class implements dq interface and dq interface extends q interface so we can say that a ray dq implements q interface so that is the topic array dq implementation of q interface but actually array dq class impl implements dq interface dq interface extends q interface so we can say that array dq implements q interface okay uh, so let us see the uh, uh, some properties of the array dq here on array dq here array dq means it is a dynamic array it is implemented based upon the array so that array is dynamic array so dynamic array means we can uh, insert the elements according to our choice so according to our requirement we can insert many number of elements and here the insertion order the insertion order is preserved insertion order is preserved preserved means the elements are inserted into the double ended queue according to our order so if we insert in the order 10 20 30 40 so in the same order the elements will be inserted but here null insertions are not possible so we can't insert null here okay duplicate insertions are possible duplicate insertions are possible so we can uh, uh, so let us assume that the element is 10 okay so we can insert the 10 one more time there is no problem 
duplicate insertions are possible now let us see the methods of the radq implementation it is just like uh, q interface methods only but we have some additional methods so let's see the first one uh, for insertion so for insertion in q we have add method next what is the next method offer method so what is the use of add and offer in q uh, we can insert element at end of the queue so insert at end of the queue insert at end of the queue so just like that here we have four more methods first first two are add first add last so what is the use of add first we can insert at front end add last means insert at end of the queue next next two are offer first offer last offer first what is the last one offer last so same just like uh, add first only offer first means we can insert at first insert at first offer last means insert at end of the queue so these are insertion methods so totally we have six methods now let us focus on the deletion methods so for deletion uh, we have uh, uh, remove method uh, next to poll method so what is the use of remove and poll just like uh, normal queue interface only so we can remove the front end of the queue so remove front element poll also removes front element next we have four more methods remove first next remove last so remove first means removes front of the queue first element remove last means remove last element of the queue next likewise we have poll first next poll last so poll first means uh, first element will be deleted poll last means last element will be deleted next for returning the first element for returning the first element uh, in uh, queue interface we have two methods what are they element method as well as peak method element method as well as peak method so here also it supports element and peak Uh, next we have two more methods peak first and the next one is peak last so peak first returns the first element of the queue peak last will returns the last element of the queue but after that that pointer won't be changed okay that pointer will be at the end only but we don't have element first and element last method in your ready queue it doesn't supports element first and element last method now let's see a java program in order to demonstrate the methods of the uh, array dq interface so first statement import space java dot util dot star semicolon in collections every class interface and method is present in util package only util stands for utility next name of the class is dq example public static void main string aux next this is the constructor array dq here we are performing operations on strings why because here we are performing peak operation peak operation means it will returns the topmost element so we need to specify which element it is returning suppose if we want to return integer then here within the angle brackets we need to specify integer but here i am working with strings so here within the angle brackets we have to specify that string wrapper class so collections means it work with the objects next add is the reference next with the help of the new we are creating the object what is the name of the class array dq so here we are working with strings so s is upper case letter next it is a constructor so left parenthesis right parenthesis sense with semicolon next add dot add is the reference add of banana so what is the use of add add method adds the element at end of the queue so initially what is the end of the queue so this is end only so here we have only element so this is front as well as end so banana so now the output is banana next add dot add first of apple so apple will be added as the first element so here the first element is here the first element is apple apple is the first element next add dot first of cherry so cherry will be added as the first element so before apple cherry will be added 
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट वन ऑफर ऑफ कीवी व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ ऑफर इंसर्शन एट एंड ऑफ द क्यू सो नाउ कीवी विल बी इंसर्टेड एज द एंडिंग एलिमेंट नेक्स्ट ऐड डॉट ऑफर फर्स्ट ऑफ मैंगो सो ऑफर मींस सेम एज ऐड ओनली सो मैंगो विल बी एडेड एज द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट सो नाउ व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट मैंगो नेक्स्ट ऐड डॉट ऑफर लास्ट ऑफ ऑरेंज सो नाउ ऑरेंज विल बी द लास्ट एलिमेंट नेक्स्ट इफ यू डिस्प्ले एडी देन व्हाट आर द एलिमेंट्स मैंगो चेरी ऐपल बनाना किवी ऑरेंज दे विल बी डिस्प्लेड इन स्क्वेर ब्राकेट सपरेटेड बै कामास ओके नेक्स्ट सिस्टम डाट अवट डाट प्रिंट एल एंड एडी डाट पीक वाट इज द यूज ऑफ पीक पीक मेथड आलवे रिटर्न द टाप मोस्ट एलिमेंट हियर वाट इज द टाप मोस्ट एलिमेंट मैंगो सो वी विल गेट अवटपुट एज मैंगो नेक्स्ट आफ्टर दट द पॉइंट एर वोट बी चेंज सो फ्रंट विल बी एट दिस लोकेशन ओनली सो हियर द फ्रंट इज एट दिस लोकेशन रेर इज एट दिस लोकेशन नेक्स्ट यार डॉट पी क्लास्ट ऑफ यार डॉट पी क्लास्ट सो इन पीक वी हेव पीक मेथड peak first peak last okay so peak last method will returns which element peak last means it will returns the last element here what is the last element orange so orange is the output if you want we can use peak first also if we use peak first then we will get mango okay next one is pole first so it removes the first element what is the first element mango so mango will be removed and it will be returned so mango is the output next remove last so what is the last element orange so orange will be removed and then array will be at this location what is the output now orange is the output if we display ad then we will get cherry apple banana kiwi this has the output so this is about array dq implementation of the q interface